Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how to deal with varying contact points with the ball, and especially how to deal with exceptionally low balls and exceptionally high balls. And I have one simple concept, which if you apply it to your game, will make these different contact points seem easy and almost something that you look forward to instead of a problem that you try to avoid. Now, ideally, every single ball would be struck at waist height or just above. This is the strike zone, anything in this area here. This is where we're strong. Uh, it's where the body has a stable alignment and we can push hard. But tennis is a difficult game. The, the court is a big area. The opponents are not always kind. It's lots of things can go wrong. And so a lot of the time, we're going to end up playing balls that are lower and we're going to end up playing balls that are higher. And when you look at the top players handling these balls, they just don't seem to be a problem. And then when you look at recreational players all over the world, you see them struggling with the balls up here and you see them leaning down to balls down here. And the problem is that they're setting up for the balls the same way, as though it was nothing different. So the first thing is you've got to be aware as early as possible that you're going to play this ball low or that you're going to play this ball high. But that's not so difficult to do. And then once you're aware of it, think about having a set of shelves by the side of you. So if I have a set of bookshelves here, then I have a low shelf and I have a medium shelf and I have a high shelf. So it's somewhere in the range of from here to down here. And the shelves are maybe, maybe two foot six in depth, so maybe uh, 60, 70 centimeters for the depth here. So what I'm going to do is if I get a low ball, then I'm going to set up around the top of that low shelf. And then the racket will drop and I'll swing through. If I have a medium height ball, then I'm going to set up along the top of that shelf and then swing around the bottom of the shelf. And if I have a high ball, I'm going to set up along the top of that shelf and then swing through the ball. If you look in this direction, the difference between me setting up normally and setting up inside the shelf, let's do the high ball to begin. So I set up normally, swing from down here, and this is an ineffective stroke. And I'm now in the weak area. Up here, my arm is very weak. So I have a combination of problems, a lack of physical strength for adjustment and controlling and accelerating the racket, and a very awkward swing across the line of the ball. But now I set up in the shelf. So I'm in the shelf and I swing through the ball. I'm in the shelf and I swing through the ball. And from this position, I'm using my deltoids, my shoulders rather, then my bicep and my shoulders are still strong at this height, but my bicep is weak at this height. Now going to a more uh, preferable height. So I have my normal take back. Oh, and I'm in the shelf. In the shelf and swing through the ball. Now for the low ball, let's have a look at the normal take back. My body is too upright. I have this awkward position here and a lot to do with the hand, but now I get in the shelf and to get in the shelf to get the racket along the top of the shelf I've got to bend get down with the ball and then I can swing through the ball so when the ball's coming to you just think perfect shelf high shelf or low shelf and if you get the racket back within that column within that shelf then you'll find that you have perfect position in fact the strokes actually feel the same ah oh, that's what you're looking at when you look at the best players in the world these high balls these low balls they just don't seem to bother them. They don't need to bother you either. Use this as a concept, swing through the ball, set up correctly in the right position in relation to the contact with the ball, and then you'll be able to swing through the ball and you'll have less problems with these. In fact, often you'll be able to attack the low and the high balls. If you like my ideas, check out our books on Amazon. The books give detailed breakdown of the science of the stroke and then super simple solutions. It's a real teaching experience aimed at taking your game to the next level. Or for a more personalized experience, have a look at what I'm doing with online coaching. I'm helping players of all ages and all levels all over the world. We're in over 35 countries now. It's a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one training such as this. For more information, email me or have a look at the website. So stop struggling with high balls. Stop struggling with low balls. Simply set up correctly in the path of the ball, in the shelf, and this is a really easy concept. It's very visual and following visual concepts, following feelings is a much better way of learning than too many words. Let me know how it works in your game. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons.
that really work. 